So last time we looked at how we can actually use functions that have been written in ACL2. This time, let's actually write our own functions in ACL2. So let me go back here to our book. We'll again, just erase everything. I can't edit it without uh, rolling back to the beginning. So let's roll back to the beginning. And I want to write a function. And uh, I want to define a function that's called discriminant, okay? And the discriminant just simply takes uh, a, b, and c that come from a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c, and uh, returns the part that goes under the square root sign when you try to find the roots. That's b squared minus 4ac. So let's see. Uh, we're going to define. The way we do that, it actually looks like a function. We write define. That's define function. And then we have to give the name. So let's call it discriminant. And then we give the arguments to the function, but in a, in a list or in parentheses. So my arguments are a, b, and c. Okay. And what I want to return is b squared minus 4ac. So how to do that? Remember, you have to turn this back so that the functions go first and then the arguments. So b squared minus 4ac, the minus is the outer function. So we put that on top. Then the first argument is going to be b squared. Uh, we don't know how to do squares, but we know how to do multiplication. So let's do that b times b, okay? And then uh, b squared minus 4ac, again, that's a multiplication. I'm multiplying 4, a, and c. One nice thing about using this notation is that if you have a multiplication of three things, you can actually put them inside the same function. Okay, so that is the, um, the definition, okay? Now, I actually like to think of this definition as a, a uh, axiom, okay? Kind of like those rules that we had at the beginning of class. And here's the rule that I have in mind. The discriminant of A, B, C is equal to minus of uh, B squared and 4AC. Right? So this is really an equality. What we're saying is that this expression which is a function invocation, is actually equal to this. That's the way that we define functions in mathematics, right? We say f of x equal to x squared. That's a function definition. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and accept this. So I'll hit the down arrow so that it executes it. Uh, I can have uh, some examples of that, like, for example, discriminant of uh, 2, 3, and 4. And let's see what that is. Okay, the answer is going to be over here. That's actually minus 23. Okay, let's try discriminant of 1, 2, and 1. Okay, and uh, we go over here, and that's equal to 0. Okay, and uh, let's try discriminant of 1, 0, and minus 1. And that is equal to 4. Okay, so those are kind of the four, the three different possibilities. The discriminant can be negative, it can be 0, uh, or it can be positive. Okay, and they have uh, meanings in algebra. Okay, so, so let's get to those meanings. Okay, so let's define another function, uh, define, and I'm going to call this function number of roots. Notice that I'm using dashes as opposed to underscores. The dashes work just fine because if I want to say number minus of, I actually have to use minus number of, right? So the notation is not at all ambiguous. And A, B, C. And what this will tell us is the number of roots that this particular A squared plus BX plus C will have. Uh, and the way we do that is by checking if the number of discriminants, uh, rather the discriminant is greater than zero. Okay, so how do we do that? Greater than? discriminant a b c if the discriminant is greater than zero then the answer is two okay otherwise well if the discriminant is less than zero have to put the parentheses okay well if it's less than zero then the answer is zero otherwise it must be equal to zero and there's exactly one root okay and so that's our definition okay and uh, for example, we can now try a discriminant of 1, 0, and minus 1, and we should get two roots. Okay, I'm sorry, we get four, right? Because that's the actual discriminant. Let's get the number of roots. And that will be equal to two, right? You know, one and minus one. 
OK, so, so that's uh, the way that we define uh, equations, or rather functions, in ACL2. I, I, I lapsed and called them equations for a simple reason. Those function definitions really are equations. They say f of x is equal to something.